So classically, um, uh, sarcomas have been uh, classified uh, based on how they look under the microscope. And generally, we try to do this based on what normal tissue they most look like. So liposarcomas look most like fat, uh, and then we have various types of those. Now increasingly, um, for, for many types of sarcomas, I would say now um, approaching close to half, we have uh, particular molecular characteristics of these that we can use that's, that will help us classify them. So as it turns out, these two approaches are, are highly uh, are highly complementary. So um, while it may seem subjective to some people what we do with the microscope, much of what we've done now with molecular diagnostics um, sort of uh, supports and confirms the way that we've been classifying these with the microscope. Now where molecular diagnostics becomes really important uh, is uh, in cases that don't look exactly like the textbooks tell us that they're supposed to look like. Molecular diagnostics can really help us um, classify those in a, in a particular way so that we know exactly what the tumor is and it's the basis of treatment. So, uh, so, so much of molecular diagnostics confirms our histology view, um, but it also gives us some new insights uh, in terms of classifying the, the tumors for treatment.